Today's show here is something I just loved. Two guys, both of them professional fishermen, both of them great guides, both of them uh, exemplary examples of uh, what an outstanding outdoorsman should be. They have the conservation ethic, they have the ethics to help other people, and they love the fun of catching fish. On today's Good Fishing, we begin with Nate Berg of my staff and Wisconsin guide Jeff Evans meeting at one of many lakes in northwestern Wisconsin. What we like to do is go back to the basics. The hook and bobber. Absolutely. They come out at the beginning of the day saying, we want to catch fish, I don't care what they are. If they're pike, if they're largemouth, smallmouth, crappies, bluegills, whatever bites. We want to catch a pile of fish today. We basically got about everything Wisconsin has to offer here. We've got good pan fish in here, uh, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass. Uh, we've got walleyes, uh, muskies, northern pike. This time of year, it's kind of what you want to do is get on a body of water that gives you a lot of options because these fish have a lot of opportunities to eat right now. Yeah. We're, we're in that transition of summer. All of the fry from the spring have basically hatched. All these fish have to do is really swim through the water with their mouth open and they're going to be full. So what we just need to do is find the bite that's going on. We don't know right now if it's going to be smallmouth or, or panfish or walleyes. Um, we're just going to start fishing and we're going to keep it simple, um, not get too complicated and let the fish tell us uh, what the bite's going to be today. Let's try to catch as many species as possible because you know me. You're I on. like everything. You're on. I like everything. And they did a bunch of things to catch a pile of fish and they used their head and moved and went about hunting them where the fish were feeding, where they were living on the edges as well of they're going up here to feed. I mean, there's nothing I could tell you to do differently than what the two of them did. We got uh, some slip bobbers out there with leeches. I'm at about 11 feet, he's at about 12 feet, and then we're gonna be throwing jigs off the bottom with sucker minnows. One way or another, we are gonna find these fish and we're gonna catch them. Your bobber's going, you got a fish on there. There you go. Here we are. There's a better fish. See this one boil behind him? Yeah. How about I get that bobber in there? Large mouth. Large mouth. There he goes. <laughs> there you go. Got him. That's a nice fish. Got a good one on there, bud? Yeah. Nice small one. Seen that one surface? Yeah. Good eye, Jeff. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Good fish. Good fishy. <laughs> Jump! Yeah. There you go, good job. Was he about 15? Something like that. Nice fish though, a lot of fun. Nice find here, Jeff. On this rig, it's just your basic slip bobber rig with a really big split shot on it. I like to have the crawler just kind of free fall, so you get about a foot and a half, two feet of line. Then with your crawler, I'm using a number six long shank hook and then I just weave the crawler on to cover up that whole hook. Just very, very simple but very, very effective. I think we got one going here, bud. Sucker minnow. Yeah, I just cast it back up on that break. So now we've caught them on leeches and now a sucker minnow. Another smallie. Net job or? Um, I think I can get this one. It's a nice fat fish but nothing we can't handle. You know, and I guess this is just a testament to what we were talking about earlier, Nate. The bite is definitely on a lot of different stuff. Sucker minnows, worms, night crawlers, leeches. And the method, keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple, stupid is right. I'll and show you here what we got. It doesn't get any simpler than this. A plain lead head jig, a 16th ounce jig, and a sucker minnow was all we caught that fish on. There's a bite. All right, buddy. Show me what you're made of. Fish on. This one was on a crawler. Really? Yeah. Oh, nice smallie, Jeff. I'm coming. This water is so beautiful in here. It's so clear. Man, that's a nice tanker. That's a good one, bud. There's a good one. Nice, nice Jeff. Nice job. I don't care how I catch them, man, you know? And I think too many people get caught up in the, trying to catch them a certain way. There she goes. You got one? Well. <laughs> See ya, buddy. Yeah, good one. You need the net? Yeah. Gonna need a little hand there. Hey! Thank you, Mr. Bird. How'd that work out? Well, and that was a more serious deal. That bobber went right down. And 
That's and that was on the leech. Right in the lip. That's so much fun. So we're going Nightcrawler to Sucker Minnow to Leech, back to Leech to Sucker Minnow <laughs> to Nightcrawler. I hope you're getting the gist here, folks. Keep changing it up, but keep it simple. Nice smally. If you want to go out and have a bunch of fun and a bunch of giggles, let's say that it's you and your wife and you want to take your two kids out. Rig them up and go with it with the attitude like Jeff and, and Nate had there. You want to catch a bunch of fish and you don't care what it's on. If it's leeches or piece of crawlers, if they get tired of casting for a while, go to spinners and crawlers and you've seen how lethal that they can be. Just started and I got a bite already. We're out off of that point, dropping from 15 to 18 feet in those deep weeds. And if Mr. Berg would give me a chance to get my bait in the water. <laughs> That's a pike. But, you know, we went from a stationary method of bobbers to starting to move, and look, we're getting bites. Flash, vibration, and the ability to vary the depth and speed of presentation with a juicy night crawler is always a great bet in summer. Where there's pike, there's walleye. What's happening today is kind of a classic midsummer. what we've been talking about. We had a nice morning bite. We get in a spot and then it was bang, 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 as quick as you could get the bobbers in the water. And then it was like a light switch uh, right around noon. Everything shut down. You gotta, you gotta be willing to change it up. If you're not willing to change it up, the fish are gonna beat you. And another very simple method. All we got on is a crawler harness. I have a gold spinner, he has a silver one. I'm using a half a crawler right now. He's using a full and blowing it up. What we're doing is we're following every contour of this weed line. And what this allows us to do is get these baits right on top of those fish. But it is a simple method. It, it truly is. You feel a bite, you drop back, and you set the hook. Fish on. Came through a, quite a pot of fish there. and I got a fish Double, on. double. You got a nice, pretty nice pike there. Look at that. Well, that's an interesting double. One technique, two species. Look at all the fish right here. This is loaded with fish. That's walleye. Fish on. The way we're fishing here with these crawler harnesses is definitely a find a method. I mean, we're finding active fish. And anywhere you go, that's a nice walleye. And here we are again on our weed line. Man, it's just, it's amazing to me how many different species of fish you can catch in each and every lake. There's a lot of different ways to do it and have fun. And that's what it's about. Trying all the different methods and having fun. Let the fish tell you what they're willing to do. Um, that particular day with those guys, they were willing to do whatever they threw at them, it seemed like to me. Be a big old boy. I think we're gonna need the net. Okay, well you take your time with him. I'll get the net. Actually, Nate, I can, I can probably get this guy. You sure? Yeah. What do you got there? Large mouth. Nice fat fish. Not a bad way to start this spot off. We just moved into a into a weed spot where the wind kind of picked up a little bit. I got another one of them nice bluegills, Jeff. Nate's got another nice bluegill on. These weed beds are just, I mean, it's like an aquarium down there. We've seen bluegills, walleyes, large mouth, small mouth, pike. Nice big bluegill. Look at that one, Jeff. Oh yeah. These these lakes really are diverse, aren't they? Yeah, you have so many different species that you can target. And... You have got one heck of a lake here. All right, Nate, there goes my bobber. We set the hook. Right. Fish on. <laughs> There's a good one. Nice bass. That's a real good one. What we did, we had the wind pick up on us a little bit. So we decided to move into a weed bed close to shore where that wind was pushing the bait fish up in. We found a bunch of bluegills up here. And uh, look at what's chasing those bluegills. That's, that's, your sec that's your second bite in what, five minutes? Yeah, yeah, I mean obviously. And that's the second beautiful bass. There, I'm down. There goes Nate. This, this is crazy how many that are here. Got him. There you go, Nate. Get him up out of those weeds, nice, buddy. That's a nice fish. This is a good fish, Jeff. He's got me down in the weeds. He gets down in the weeds, even, even with these light rods, you gotta keep the pressure on him. Keep that rod bent. You gotta keep him hooked. Oh, it's a dandy. This is what we talked about catching moving into this spot. Look at that. 
Jeff. Excellent. Excellent. Look at that. Nice job, mate. That's a beauty. Look at that. Walleyes, smallmouth, largemouth, big bluegills, pike. But again, no, Nate, our, our objective was to catch fish. Exactly. It wasn't we're going to do walleyes. It wasn't we're going to do smallmouth or largemouth or pike. It was we're going to go out and catch fish. And we've caught several different species. I think the reason we're doing so well is at this time of year, you have to keep an open mind. Absolutely. If you go out just stuck on, I'm going to walleye fish, I'm going to smallmouth fish, I mean, you, you may get a few fish or you may get flurries this time of year, but as we've seen, if you're willing to change up, you're going to put more fish in the bowl. Not a bad way to spend a hot summer day, <laughs> huh, Mr. Berg? What a great day. What a great day. Hey, I hope you really enjoyed what we had for you today. We try our darndest to educate and entertain you on, on aspects of the outdoors, and there was a lot of information um, that got passed out today. So soak it up, and, and if you liked it, and this information is important for you like it is for me, then give us a thumbs up and like us. Thanks so much for watching tonight, and good hunting, good fishing to all of you.